My name is Adrienne Brown David and I'm a figurative portrait artist in Water Valley, Mississippi. Focus mainly on oil painting, uh, but I do a little bit of drawing, colored pencil, pen and ink here and there. Most of my work these days is inspired by my children um, and their growth and development in the American South, which is very, very different from my childhood growing up in the city in St. Louis. It's really been focused on their freedom of play and their ability to run around in nature and you know just have that freedom. But as they've gotten older, my work has changed a little bit. Um, all of my kids are teenagers now. Um, and the freedom of teenagerhood looks a lot different than the, teenage, the freedom of girlhood. Um, and so my work really focuses a lot on their growth and development from, you know, small children through the teenage years into womanhood and what that looks like for them and what that'll look like for the world. I hope that the pieces influence those around us um, to just see the humanity in me and other people that look like me and other people that look like my children and just to like highlight the humanity of that. So since I've had kids, I've been taking pictures of them almost every day. Um, I have legitimately 25,000 pictures of my children in my phone. Um, and so I usually just snap pictures when they're not paying attention, when we're traveling, when they're playing with friends, when they're just sitting and being themselves, like whatever I find a moment that I feel captures a feeling, um, I typically take that image and then I go through the 25,000 <laughs> images and pick out ones that stand out to me, ones where I think the lighting is amazing, ones where, you know, the feeling for that day was really great or the energy was really significant. I really love to paint images of single people, single figures. Um, I think it keeps the focus very specific. There's not a lot going on. Um, it gives you time to think and to reflect and to feel. Um, I feel like you can get the emotion from the subject more if that's the only thing you have to be concerned about. You're not looking at a bunch of things in the background. You're not necessarily creating a story from all of the background references. Like you're really just focusing on the subject matter. You're just focusing on the one face, the one image. The stark backgrounds help contribute to the quietness of each piece and I think that's really important um, and so that's really what drives my composition in each piece is just capturing those moments of quiet, capturing those individual snippets of life but portraying them with a sense of peace. So for 2022, since I'm definitely not doing a painting every single day, um, what I am going to do is a monthly drop of maybe 20 prints, 20 limited edition prints. Each print will be signed and numbered and come with a certificate of authenticity and all of those great things. Um, and those images for 2022 are going to be ones that I pick from an exhibit I had back in 2021 called The Space Between. Um, and that exhibit was here in Oxford, Mississippi. I'm just gonna paint as much as I can. I still, I take commissions. Um, my commissions are booked for 2022. And so I will work on the commissions that I have. I will work on painting for myself. Um, we'll see what 2022 brings.